Two people are now facing charges here in Evansville after police found synthetic drugs being made in a bathroom right next to where two children were sleeping. 44 News reporter Claire Dugan has those details tonight. Well, we're told this investigation actually started with a Warwick County search warrant stemming from a sexual assault case that both people arrested were involved in. So what they found inside that house wasn't exactly something police say they were expecting. Inside the home on Taylor Avenue, authorities say they were immediately hit with the smell of acetone. They say inside of a bathroom, they found what they call a synthetic cannabinoid manufacturing lab. Police say thick plastic sealed the doors to that bathroom while Kim chemical powder and acetone were being mixed in the bathtub. There were also beakers, strainers, a magnetic mixer, and a gas mask. They say this bathroom lab sat directly between two kids' bedrooms, meaning at least one of the children slept in direct danger of chemical vapors and exposure to chemical burns. Jasmine Fingers was on scene, and police say she told detectives it was all Corey Fingers doing and that she had no idea what was happening inside the bathroom. But police say they found dozens of clear plastic bags with drugs inside that tested positive for synthetic cannabinoids in several different rooms of the house, including the living room. Well, they're both facing several charges. Jasmine is charged with dealing controlled substances, maintaining a common nuisance and neglect of dependent, while Corey faces those charges, as well as resisting law enforcement and possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. They're both expected back in court on Tuesday and are currently being held without bond. Reporting in Evansville, Claire Dugan, 44 News.